Hi everyone, I'm Chris with Team Vivers, and today I'll share a few tips and tricks on how to create amazing 3D virtual worlds with Vivers, the open and secure metaverse from HTC Vive. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Starter World, a feature that lets you customize your own 3D space for free. So here's a quick outline of the topics we'll be covering in today's video. We'll kick things off with account setup and world templates, followed by the fundamentals of navigating in Vivers, moving objects, rotating objects, and scaling objects. We'll then cover the ease with which you'll be able to bring in Sketchfab models, pictures, videos, as well as your own .glb files into Vivers. Lastly, we'll cover how to take selfies and sharing your world with Vivers. Alright, I'm excited to show you around. Come along! Let's start with world templates. When you first create a Vivers account, you'll have the option to choose from three unique spaces that are customizable to make your own digital space. These spaces known as starter worlds offer incredible graphics, an immense selection of 3D objects, and an easy to use interface. First up is the gallery. This unique and elegant space is perfect for displaying digital artwork and 3D objects. It features a sleek architectural design that highlights your virtual assets. Next is the villa, a trendy and scenic indoor and outdoor virtual space that's perfect for events and meetups in Vivers. It's a great choice if you want to host gatherings or just create a beautiful space to hang out with your friends. Finally, we have the home, a clean and simple futuristic environment that you can decorate with your favorite items for a casual hangout spot. It provides a serene and inviting atmosphere for you and your visitors to enjoy. So let's talk about navigation. Once you select your starter world, you'll need to know how to navigate it. Vivers makes it easy to move around your virtual space with its teleportation feature. Simply point your mouse pointer in the direction you want to go, press the teleportation button, which would be your right mouse button, and you'll be instantly transported to your destination. This allows you to explore every nook and cranny of your world with ease. You can also use the standard arrow keys or the WASD keys on your keyboard to move around. Now let's chat about moving objects. Now that you know how to navigate your virtual space, let's talk about moving objects. In Vivers, you can double click on items to move them easier with the left mouse button. It makes it simple to rearrange furniture, uh, adjust the position of events, or create new arrangements for your virtual world. To get even more precise positions, you can click on the objects with the left mouse button again and access the objects inspector menu. In these settings, the object's coordinates, you can set them to zero and create pretty useful anchor points depending on your use case. Play around with it. Now let's chat about rotating objects. Sometimes you need to rotate an object to get that perfect angle. Vivers makes it easy to reset objects to zero so you can start over and try again. Simply select the object you want to adjust, go to the object menu inspector and choose reset rotation to zero. You can also click on your object to access the coordinate menu. It's pretty useful to set your object to zero before rotating them for more precise alignment. Scaling objects. In Vivers, objects can be over the 1000 centimeter limit, so make sure you can play around with that. This gives you the flexibility when it comes to creating your virtual space. You can scale objects up or down to get the perfect size for your needs using the slider in the menu as well. This allows you to create everything from tinny knickknacks to massive sculptures. Adding Sketchfab models. One of the best things about Vivers is its integration into Sketchfab. This growing library of virtual objects allows you to add a wide variety of items to your virtual world, from furniture to vehicles and everything in between. To add a Sketchfab model to your world, simply go to the Objects menu, select Sketchfab, and search for the item you want to add. It's worth noting that Vivers currently has a 40 megabyte limit or a 10 item limit per world. You can go over the limit, but it is recommended to stay below 40 megabytes slash the 10 item limit. Um, so keep this in mind while creating your world. We're consistently making improvements, so keep an eye out for updates and new features and how we bump up that limit in the future. Adding pictures from your desktop is also really useful. Vivers allows you to add your own pictures to your virtual world. You can snap pictures to the walls to create a gallery of your favorite images or use them to decorate your virtual home. To add pictures from your desktop, go to the Add Objects menu, select Upload, and choose the file you want to upload. It's pretty simple. 
you can also add links to your pictures and objects as well. So when visitors click on them, they can be directed to your portfolio, your Discord server, or wherever you like. In addition to pictures, you can also add videos to Viverse. Adding videos to your world can enhance the overall experience for your visitors. It's the same process as adding pictures, and it's a great way to bring another layer of interactivity to your world. So try it out. Oh, and don't forget, it has to be MP4 files. Lastly, you can add your own .gob files. So you've added some 3D models and characters from Sketchfab into Vivers. But what if you wanted to add your own custom made models? Well, Viber supports the .tlb format, which is a common format for 3D models. You can create your own models using 3D modeling link software like Blender or Maya, or download them for free from other websites like Sketchfab. Uh, to add your .tlb files, it's the same process as adding pictures. Simply click on the Add button, go to Upload, and add your .tlb files from your desktop. Cool. Now let's talk about selfie time. Now that you've created your own virtual world, it's time to show it off to the world. Viverse has a built-in camera feature that lets you take pictures of your world and share them on social media. To take a picture, simply click the camera icon on the top left corner of your screen, and then move the camera around the world to find that perfect angle for your shot, and snap! You're ready to share that on social media, download it, or do whatever you like. Lastly, let's talk about sharing your world. Finally, it's time to share your world with others. Fiverr's offers three different options, private, unlisted, and public. Private worlds can be accessed by only people you invite, unlisted worlds can be accessed by anyone with a link, and public worlds can be accessed by anyone on Fiverr's. To share your world, simply click the share button in the top right corner of your screen, and then choose the sharing option that best fits your needs. All right, there you have it. You learn how to create your own virtual world with Viverse, as well as customizing your 3D objects and characters and being able to share with others. Whether you want to create a gallery, a virtual event, or just a cool place to hang out with friends, Viverse has everything you need to get started. So what are you waiting for? Head over to Viverse.com, create an account, and start building your own unique world today.